Here we are. So should you buy a Hobie 16? The answer is probably yes. Uh, we're just going to take a look at firstly some of the features of a Hobie 16 catamaran. The first feature and probably the most striking is the banana shaped asymmetric hulls. The sail plan on a Hobie 16 is very powerful for the weight and size of the boat. Even in light winds the boat will get going very quickly and in strong winds the Hobie 16 is capable of very high speeds. Double trapeze which means that you can share the exhilaration of trapezing with a friend. But it doesn't mean that you have to, you can either single trapeze the Hobie 16 or not use the trapeze at all if you don't fancy it or of course if there's not enough wind. We're also featuring on the Hobie 16 a raised trampoline. Uh, this will give you a drier ride as the trampoline is higher up away from the water. The hulls are of quite a low volume for the size of the rig which gives the boat quite a go-kart feel to it with a uh, high power to volume ratio. Uh, the boat is quite twitchy and feels great in any condition. Another key feature of the Hobie 16 is uh, a low maintenance requirement. Due to its very durable hulls, simple Dacron sails, mesh trampoline, there's not much that can go wrong with a Hobie 16. So, who is the Hobie 16 for? Well, firstly, a big factor to whether you're going to enjoy sailing the Hobie 16 or not is your weight. If you're going to be mostly sailing the boat with two people and your crew weight is going to be above around 150 kilos all the time, then perhaps the Hobie 16 isn't for you and you should be looking at a boat with a higher volume hull. However, if you're either wanting to sail the boat occasionally single-handed or with a general team weight of 150 kilos or less, then the Hobie 16 will provide you with a lot of great sailing.